When we left off, we had a beautiful sail over to the Lofoten Islands after having a lot of problems with the motor earlier on. What we didn't know while being in Lofoten was that the problems were queuing up for us in the near future. just left uh, Svolva, it's behind me. Because of all the islands, uh, the wind varies a lot. Uh, so we actually have a reef in the main cell in case. And we are going over to the mainland. Uh, it's a northern breeze, northeasterly, so that's good for us. And the weather is uh, good for a day out at sea. very good sail. We actually do one long tack from the island back there over to the mainland and that is about 20 nautical miles. The wind is uh, I don't know about 50 to 60 degrees on the bow on the uh, port bow. So this is uh, this is a cracking sail. <laughs> this is really good. Unfortunately the autopilot I don't know. We do hear the sound. She really does want to work, but she doesn't get the wheel together with her. So we'll see. We need to go back to um, port in here to have a look. So this is my view for today. One big whale. Holy smoke, he is big. Did you 
you hear the sound? approaching uh, mainland, uh, just a couple of nautical miles. Things didn't go as planned today. Uh, we started too late, so we lost the wind about halfway in this west fjord. Our autopilot um, is kind of sick, um, doesn't work. So, well, um, yeah, whatever. We need to stay to uh, sort this out. Another day, another problem. Yes, it comes in pair. Uh, and this is Roger's favorite job. Yes, this is my favorite. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Uh, the ventilation on the head is uh, it was uh, filled over the tank, the solar tank. So the ventilation hose is now full of what should be not in the ventilation hose. So it's uh, clogged? Yes, it's clogged. That was actually our fault yesterday because we set sails before we emptied the holding tank. Yeah. And this is our payment. Yes. And this is actually one of the most important things beside the sail on our boat. Um, and we treat it very gently. So this is... Oh, oh. You can, oh, oh, it's totally clogged. It's <laughs> totally clogged. <laughs> but maybe it's not new, maybe it's old. Maybe it's stuck. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, okay, but I, I can get some wire. Yes, do that. Oh my god! Want to film it? This is the grand opening. <coughs> Does it? Um, okay. It looks like peanuts. And the smell is beyond belief. Mm. Yep. <laughs> now you can uh, empty Bye. this. <laughs> goofy, goofy. Thank you. Roger asked me for um, before started working was uh, our metal chips bowl <laughs> to, to, <laughs> to pick up some problems <sighs> so I, I think I'm cured no more chips but <laughs> no chip. well, metal is the only thing that doesn't it is clean though yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't take taste plastic does metal doesn't Yep. Am I gonna try to fill in? Yep. What kind of autopilot do we have? A Raymarine ST6002. Whether that is good or bad, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's a, a common brand and a common model. So. Um, but we do have we have we've had the boat since 2016 and never had a problem. Never been nothing. So everything comes in pair and groups. And this year, 
we have uh, been emptying the uh, locker and the aft cabin four or five six times yeah. this summer yeah. so, uh, even though we were very prepared before summer yep but then again when you buy something used you, you it's some some age whether it's a car or house or whatever it is it will uh, become old and uh, many things is getting old at the same time yeah eventually thing is breaking down and is wear and tear. Yes, wear and tear, and it's nothing to do with it. It's just. But yesterday, when we were sailing along, uh, trying out the autopilot, mm. uh, I did hear uh, some squeaking sounds. Yeah, but that that is the autopilot sound mm. wanting to work, but she didn't uh, take the wheel with her. No. And there was some banging on this side for each wave yeah. that hit us mm -hmm. um, turn on the instruments and then have a go <laughs> That's the system. We see that um, black box behind the chain. That's the uh, autopilot engine, which uh, turned that uh, gear here, which uh, makes the rudder go or the, the wheel go uh, one way or the other, and taking this chain, which goes down to the the rudder system and then turn the rudder. What happened is that this wheel here doesn't doesn't move whenever the um, the autopilot is engaged that doesn't move. So something inside this box isn't quite right. This is the view of the rotary drive. Uh, I talked to another sailor this morning on the HF and I talked to him about that we have that trouble with um, this uh, with the autopilot and he mentioned that these the planet gear which you see here those four gears standing out there uh, are made of plastic and then I go to a YouTube video and I saw that uh, there was another sailor who had this type of uh, gear and they were they were made of plastic and they were all crunched up and uh, no good. So uh, my plan is to open the box and uh, see whether if the problem is here or maybe in the drive belt lying just behind it. And um, if that's so, you could uh, order new gears and uh, hopefully it will be okay well that's the plan anyway so i find this on the google and i find it quite useful so what's happening is that the engine which you see here are turning around making noise but that axle which is there that axle there which have a gear on the end doesn't move and that might be the planet gear standing there. Optimistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm down here because I needed to get some bolts. I know it is unscrewing, but uh, they're welded.
so this is the unit uh, we think there is a problem with in here somewhere so we're gonna open it and see we try to find some technical drawings for this unit but we can find it so now we're on our own dismantling whatever we can find did that help us at yeah. all uh, now we're taking off this one and see what's behind that one we do believe that the gear is here yeah probably two gears maybe mm. one back there and, and the belt yeah and the belt and and It's not easy without a uh, drawing, is it? No, it's not. We're opening it from the wrong side. the second gear or oh, the first gear I think it's called there it is the first gear Did we find anything? Not really. No. no not really. So. Um, <laughs> it looks a lot different than we did expect. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Um, Several gear, plant gears. But it it kind of it is kind of slow at one part. Yeah. Doesn't feel right. But. Then again, I'm not a mechanic. So, so we're gonna assemble this, put it back uh, in the place she belongs, yeah. together with the um, chain. Start it up and see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then give it over to a professional. Mechanical. Yeah. yeah. If so, it, it might be the clutch doesn't kick in, or maybe it doesn't kick in. That might be the case, but I don't know. We're gonna go on YouTube University and Google. Ah, that's not So, everything back together. Don't have an answer. No. Have no clue. The clutch, maybe, but that you don't know. But what if everything works now? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, we, yeah, we right. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have a look at the uh, chain and whatever else is down there. What we do see is that the uh, chain is really loose. Yeah. So we need to go behind this panel to have a look. Oh, 
Kommer vi den jävla pengen? Mm. It's no quick fix. Nope. 